Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold, my name is Volans, and in the last episode we traveled north of the Ilex Forest up here to Goldenrod City, and that's where we are now. We are going to probably fight Whitney in this episode, and we are also going to fight some of the trainers that I believe are down in the underground path. Wait, why'd you call the meeting? Moki's dead. Yeah, bruh. <laughs> I called the meeting because it has come to my attention that you are not <laughs> subscribed to the channel. My god, really? Bruh! Oh god, boo! Boo! What do you Get mean, him out! Boo? You're not subscribed. Get him out of here! You should be. Boo! Good. Libby! Get him out of here! Get him out of here. Get him out of here! Alright, I'm voting. Get him out of here. All right, Icky, well, I, bad, I mean... yucky! Well, guess bye. For me. Ah, get him next time. Adios. Oops. However, I just want to cover a couple of things real quick. So my night has been crazy. I'll cover it probably a little bit in this video. However, um, just trying to get this episode started took me over an hour. It's yeah, it's one seventeen in the morning now. Uh, I tried getting this to work, or, like, I started working on this at, like, what was it? Well, yeah, it was, like, about quarter after 12. It's been nuts. Um, at first, my webcam wouldn't work. Like, my webcam just wouldn't record. Like, it was claiming that it was recording, but OBS just couldn't recognize it for whatever reason. Um, and then my second problem was... I would join, or not join, but like I would get and load Pokemon Gold, and uh, right off the bat, uh, this happened. It was running at this speed, and it was just always at that speed, and I could not figure out for the life of me what the problem was. It took me like 20 minutes to figure out what that problem was, and then my freaking Pro Controller wouldn't connect to my computer at all like i had to unplug my switch which is normally what i play it on and then try restarting my wi-fi card in order to get that to work resetting that finally it started working again now it's connected but geez what a mess it took me an hour just to get here but we're here we're gonna do some pokemans uh so we currently have an HM slave, which I'm probably gonna get rid of. Well, not nah, just keep it in my party because it's not like it's harming anything. We have a level 16 critical shit, which is our slow poke. We also have a level 17 lighthouse, which is our flaffy. A level 18 MVP, which is Bayleaf, and a level 17 blind, which is our Zubat. Hopefully, sooner or later, blind levels up. I just gotta remember that he cannot die. Because if he dies, his friendship amount, or like his friendship level goes down, and we don't want that. Because we want him to evolve into a gold, or yeah, gold bat. Like, as soon as possible. Which means he needs high friendship. Groovy. So this is the game corner. I couldn't win at the slots, and I blew it on card flipping. I got f so furious, I tossed out my coin case in the underground. Well, we're not doing any gambling, but good to know that that's what that is. Phew! This is one big town. I don't know where anything is. Yeah, it's going to take me a minute to figure this out, too. So if memory serves, this is actually... Um... The hell is his name? Bill. This is Bill's house. Uh, this will come into play in the future, however, not now. My son Bill is an expert. He had to leave for the Pokemon Center in Ecrotique City, so hopefully we can run into Bill there. My big brother Bill made the PC Pokemon storage system. Oops. Sweetheart, can you get out of my way? Yeah, you. Get out of my way. Shoo. No, 
Go up. Or even down. No, no. Go up. Up. Get out of my way. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that'll come into play here eventually. However, uh, not right now. What we got? Oh, then this is the underground entrance. So let's do this here. Oh, why do they play this song for this? Okay. There are some shops downstairs, but there are also trainers. I'm scared to go down there. I'll do it. I got booted out of the game corner. I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon. How do you cheat in a lottery using your Pokemon? Okay. Well, we got a super nerd, so let's see what this guy's got here. Grimer. Weird sprite in this game. Okay. Let's just use a water gun here. Well, we're gonna get poisoned, unfortunately. It appears as though critical shit is our... Fodder for poison types, I guess. Or, like, not poison types, but, like, status afflictions and critical hits and all that jazz. Unfortunately. Should probably do something about that poison, but... Hmm... No, let me get rid of the grammar before I do anything, because there's a very good chance that he's going to poison gas me again. Nice. Level 17. Another grammar. Alright, I guess I'll just keep you out, then. Definitely looks weird in this gym. Look, I thought this game was doing pretty good with their sprites, but this one just looks excuse me, really weird. Okay. At this point, I might as well just go to the Pokemon Center. I don't want to waste an antidote and a potion. Yeah, so my day at work was interesting. So normally on Sundays, which is when I'm recording this, um, normally I work in the mornings and I open up my store, which, um, for those of you who do not know, I am a manager of a uh, local uh, Italian gourmet restaurant. Um, so normally I'm the one who opens on Sundays, however today I needed to cover for somebody because, um, they had the day off, so I closed. And so, um, instead I delivered. And so, we had a lot of very interesting customers, um, one of which, his name was Larry. Larry, um ordered for a delivery and he just had like one pizza it was super small and kind of mediocre um but like when with our place in particular we're not like um you know we specialize in like pastas and pizzas and stuff like that um normally when you order from like a little caesars or a domino's or um even like a Hungry Howie's or something like that if you live on the East Coast. Um, you know, usually delivery times are no more than like 40, well, I'd say like an hour and 15 minutes or so. Just that's kind of how they operate their show, you know, they, they specialize in delivery so they're really quick. We don't do that. We actually have like a full diner and a full bar and everything so like, you know, we don't specialize in deliveries. But deliveries are actually like our last priority. Our top priority is the people coming in and dining it, right? So, um, when people order for delivery, uh, generally speaking, our delivery times are always really high. So, like, the amount of time that it takes for you to get a delivery is generally going to be pretty high. So, like, 
hour 15 minutes at the most for like a Domino's or a Little Caesars is going to be two to two and a half hours for us. And especially when I am the only person driving on most given nights. Uh, generally speaking, I got to switch out here. Uh, generally speaking, you know, it's going to be a hot minute. And so, like, you know, when we tell people, you know, like, hey, it's going to be, like, two to two and a half hours for delivery, generally speaking, people are pretty understanding. They're pretty, like, accepting. They're just like, okay, that's fine. But, you know, periodically you get the people who just don't want it because, you know, like, that's a long time. They don't want it at all. Or you tell them, like, you can come and pick it up and it'll be, like, an hour. Or not an hour, like, 30 minutes or something like that. You know, and they'll come and pick it up instead. But, you know, periodically, actually, I'd say, okay, so periodically you get the people who will just still take it for two and a half hours. And almost always when that happens, these are people who are just looking to get free food because they're going to complain that it's going to take two and a half hours. They say that it's fine, but it's actually not. And so... They're just trying to get free food out of you. So we get these people periodically. And I can just, like, I can smell them out practically. Because they they always act really nice on the phone. But they're always just terrible people when they come. And, like, you actually have to deal with them. So, like, you know, took an order. Guy was like, you know, or, like, we told him, like, hey, you know, it's going to be two to two and a half hours. It might even be more. We don't know. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, no, that's totally fine. And it's like, I can guarantee you that's probably not going to be the case, but okay. And so we're like, all right, let's run with it. Uh, I get out there. Well, I get close to his house. I'm like maybe two minutes away. Get a phone call from the store. And this is like two hours after he ordered, so like we're still on time for what we quoted. Get there, and the manager of the night calls me. He's like, "Hey, just wanted to let you know, do not deliver that pizza. He's not gonna pay for it." He's like, "Yeah, he didn't want to wait, or he like he's waited too long. Apparently, you know, he's very upset that it took two hours. You know, he said if you deliver it, he's not gonna pay for it." I'm like, "All right, so I'm just not gonna deliver it." He's like, "Yeah, don't deliver it." So I don't deliver it, and I get a phone call after I get back from work, you know, I'm kind of just laying on the couch, uh, just got done eating my dinner, you know, getting, like, preparing myself to record some Pokemon, hello, and, um, get a phone call from my boss, the owner of the restaurant, and he's just like, hey, uh, did you see Facebook? And I'm like, no, what's on Facebook? And he sends me two screenshots of these, like, Facebook posts. One of them was Larry, who was complaining about how his delivery took four hours. And he had called to ask where it was three or four times. And he was told every single time that I was on my way which isn't true none of it was true actually he never called he um, never called uh, we never quoted or he said that we quoted him like an hour which is just wrong and blatantly incorrect um, so he was upset that you know it was supposedly three hours later than what we quoted him and, um, you know, apparently, you know, I was the one who was talking to him on the phone, which wasn't true. And I was being, you know, a dick to him, telling him to go fuck himself. And, um, he's just, you know, him being, you know, the business owner that he's gotta be, he's kinda gotta look at both sides. He's like, did you tell him to go fuck himself? I'm like, I wasn't even on the phone. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, oh, so you never even took the phone call. I'm like, no, I was on the road. I got a phone call from the manager that was running the show 
saying don't deliver his food because he's not going to pay for it. And I'm like, all right, I won't, I won't deliver it. And so I didn't deliver it. Currently, his pizza, by the way, is sitting in my refrigerator. I had it for dinner, actually. Um, and so he was just super upset because supposedly we quoted him an hour and it was four hours late, which was wrong. And, you know, apparently we had been telling him that it was on its way the three or four times that he called, but he never called. And so he's like, oh, so he never called. I'm like, nope, he never called. He's like, and he was quoted two and a half hours. I'm like, yep, quoted two and a half hours. And you were going to show up in two. I'm like, yep, I was going to show up in two. I was like right on time for what we quoted. him. He's like, okay. He's like, also, there was one other person who called. Or who, like, posted on Facebook. I'm like, okay, what was this about? And he sent me another screenshot. And it was a picture of a pizza and a pasta that, like, it quite literally looked like... What's an example here? Um, here. I'll take this tin can, for example. Take this tin can, okay? It quite literally looked like I took the pizza and shook it up. Like... It took its pasta and tipped it upside down, shook it violently, and then flipped it back on its side, and then put it, like, and then, like, handed it to the person. The pizza was, like, thrown around inside of the box. The pizza was, like, some of it was upside down, some of it wasn't. The pasta sauce had, like, leaked, leaked, it seeped out, whatever all inside of the bag that it was in, the, like, the container that it was in. Um, and he's just like, yeah, so what's up with this? And I'm just like, that's hilarious. I'm like, that looks very staged. And, like, that doesn't even look, like, real at all. He's just like, yeah, so this person claims that, you know, they got their food on time, mind you. And... You know, all their food was just kind of, like, thrown around. Like, I was driving, like, a hundred miles an hour down these, you know, roads and taking curves like I was trying to drift. And I'm like, man, I've worked here for two and a half, nearly three years. And you're telling me that, you know, I supposedly ruined that person's food by, like, flying down the roads and making a mess of everything i'm like no i never did that and he's just like no i i believe you honestly he's like i don't think you would have done something like that i'm like no i definitely didn't do that i mean the pizza looked like it was very very obviously staged like it was hilarious i i could use some great balls here let's grab some like it was very very clearly staged like, this person very clearly was like, I'm upset that I didn't get what I wanted or something, or I don't know what they were mad about. Probably just wanted free food. And, um, it's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna throw my food around and claim, to, claim it was the delivery driver. And, you know, he's just like, I find it ironic, you know, that both of these instances occurred on the same night. He's like, you know, I'm just a little concerned. I'm like, no, I get it. Like, you should be. But I never did. I never flew down the road and flipped this guy's pizza or anything like that. I never told anybody to go fuck themselves. And, you know, we quoted him correct times and everything. I know my Zubat's quite cute, thank you. So that was my day. I had to deal with troubleshooting to record some Pokemon for y'all. And I had to deal with dumb customers trying to get free food. Life's fun sometimes. Sigh, I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Really? Great. Give me your name, phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. My bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere. 
even on water? Okay, so now... Realistically, what I could do, if I really wanted to, is I could go north of here on that route that's above us here. And I could, um... Uh, fight the trainers that are up there. To train up, but I don't know if I need to do that. We're gonna go into Whitney's thing here in a minute. And see how I fare. Hi, are you here for the lucky number show? Want me to check the ID numbers of your Pokemon? If you get lucky, you win a prize. This week's ID number is 00248. Let's see if you have a match. That sounds good. Nope. Oh, None of your numbers matched. Well, that's stupid. We have a special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Slide it into your Poke Gear to play the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to play? Sure. Question number one. Can the town map be displayed on a Poke Gear? Yes. Correct. Question number two. Can Nita Rhina be female only? Yes. Bullseye. Question number three. Does Kurt, the Pokeball craftsman, use Apricorn? Yes. Am I wrong? Let's... Where? Okay. Well, let's take the quiz again. Yes, it can. Oh, God. It happened again. Yeah, need a Rhino can... Need a... Oh, God. No, he doesn't use apricorns. Oh. Magikarp won't learn any TM moves. I think the answer to this is no. Oh, thank god the glitch went away. That was disturbing. Okay. Here we go again. I had to reread that question before I just quickly did something. Okay, the answer to this one is yes. Next one. Professor Oak's Pokemon Talk is a very popular program. Is Marie the co-host of the show? Isn't it Mary, not Marie? Yes. Sweet. Okay. You got it. Congratulations. Here's your prize. A radio card. Nice. Alrighty. Alright. So I think those are the only two things that I really needed in here. Let's go to Whitney's gym real quick and see how I fare against the trainers in there. Oh, it's up here, isn't it? Yep. Hello. Oh, you're the... You're the pump-up guy. I don't need to talk to you. Just a maze. Hello. Give it your best shot or I'll take you down. I'd like to see you try. I'd honestly like to see you try. Ooh. Beauty Samantha sent out a Meowth. Level 16. That's kinda high. Uh, let's try a bite here. No, that didn't do so hot. Uh, remember, I can't have him die, so... If this doesn't kill, I'm gonna be scared. Cause if I get a er if I get crit on, I'm dead. Alright. Yes I will. Let's go. Lighthouse. Lighthouse needs some levels.
I wish you would learn another move, Lighthouse, but... Okay. Just do that a couple more times here, we should be okay. Oh boy, a crit. That's always nice. Well, at least that one crit for me. Hey, I picked up $32. Nice. Okay. So what we're going to do, because those, those Pokemon are a little high level. I'm going to go north of town here, and I'm going to level up up there. Like, a level 16 Meowth from, like, the pre-gym leader trainers is a little scary. So let's just get a couple levels up top here, and we'll move on. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Are you going to the gym? Me too. Well, then why are you coming from... Well, I guess realistically you can come from whatever direction, but... Ooh, Evolve Picks, level 15, okay. That's a little scary. Let's try a Swift here. At least now Evolve Picks is confused. Not too bad. Didn't stay confused for long, unfortunately. At least you're up to level 18 now. Nice, okay. Nope, you couldn't win. You had no chance. I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. Oh, is that so? Yeah, you look like hot stuff, Elliot. A sand shrew. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Let's try a leech life here. I don't know how much damage it'll do, but I could use some health. Not much. Not much at all. Okay. I wonder what does more damage, Bite or Swift? Honestly, half the time it feels like Swift. Well, that was a crit, so... Can't really go off of that. And a Meryl? Realistically, I should have taken Lighthouse out, but... We'll be alright. <sighs> Man. I'm gonna only get one or two episodes in in this session. I'm tired. Okay. So yeah, it does seem like Swift does a little bit more damage. I don't know why you keep defense curling. You're dead regardless. Okay. I wish you would have lost for me. You know... <sighs> probably should have, but...
Let's see what Camper Ivan can do. Level 10 Diglett. Okay. That's quite a lot of health. I might just do one of those again. It's definitely gonna kill, so... Nice. What do you got next? A Zubat. Oh. Friend or foe? You. And unfortunately, now a bite won't kill, and I don't think a swift will either, to be fair. <sighs> Excuse me. I was wrong. And another Diglett. Okay. This one's level 14. Now I'm a little scared. Luckily, if you know any ground moves, it doesn't affect me. Neither does Supersonic affect you, apparently. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode off after this fight here. In this episode, we traveled through the underground path, I think is what it's called, in Goldenrod City. Fought some trainers, and then we fought one trainer in Whitney's gym, obviously. Uh, we're, we could stand a chance, but I'd rather train up as much as possible before Whitney's gym, for obvious reasons. You'll see why if you don't know. Um, and now we're fighting some trainers north of town, but in the next episode we will continue to fight trainers north of town here. And probably take on Whitney's gym for real that time. However, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like and comment on the video. Remember to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications for whenever I upload a new video. Blind is trying to learn Confuse Ray, which is literally the exact same as Supersonic. So, okay. Kind of dumb, but alright. May hope maybe Confuse Ray has better accuracy. Interesting. Uh, so we'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe and stay healthy.